my own closet. Dress ourselves to dress me to help dress you all for that for this Valentine's Day. Now I know different people may be going different places. You may be going to uh, a very formal dinner, a five star restaurant. I have something for that. Um, and I'm sure you all have something for that too. It's just a matter of how you accessorize, how you style it, how you dress it up. It's about how you, you know, put with some of the things that you already have. So you guys know I'm a girly girl, so I have to wear this blingy, you know, type of stuff. I have to wear my red lipstick. I have to do these things. But I do feel like I'm totally gonna feel comfortable at the sporting event, acting all raunchy and loud and rooting, probably for the wrong team. But I will be there and it's gonna be a great day. I have three different, three very distinctive looks um, um, that are ideas that you can possibly use for your own balance. It could be an outdoor concert. It could be, you know, a restaurant at a place that's a bar has a bar somewhere that's a little less casual. I think this will be a pretty good look for that. I'm, I'm still, if you can look and get my shoes, Amber. I'm still keeping it a little sexy with the heels, but uh, laying back with the comfortable jeans, blazers. Really, I just put this blazer on for a pop of color, and it's red, so it says Valentine's Day. Also. If you have a date that's earlier in the day, then this will be would be an appropriate look because it's kind of has a little sex appeal, has a little bit of I uh, thought about what I put on, but it's not doing too much. a ball or something like that but like a really nice opera a five-star restaurant a nice a really nice concert also ladies don't over accessorize I see so many ladies with big huge earrings and big necklaces sometimes you have to choose between an earring and a necklace and then break it up a little bit like put the blade down here or, you know somewhere else but break it up a little bit if you notice I have on a lot of Pretty simple pieces, not, you know, not a whole lot. When I go to bed, I'm taking off a dress, a ring, a bracelet, and some shoes. Well, let me be honest, and a girdle. And then I'm going to go to bed. But, you know, I don't have on a lot of items, if, if, if you will. That's my word. Everyone who knows me knows that items is my word. Anyway, but don't put on don't put on too much. Sometimes less is more. Um, and make sure your colors pop. Make sure your outfit accentuates the good parts and, and, and kind of conceals the bad. And you can pull something out of your very own closet, something you've been wearing before. I mean, something that you've already been wearing, something you've worn several times. You can take something simple that has a nice pop of color, maybe that fits well, accentuates the good parts well. As you notice, I don't have on a mini skirt because my legs are not all the way right, but I do have a waistline, so I, I accentuated that, but I took my dress all the way down to the knees to hide the bad and show the good, and um, and I feel like this, this works for me, but this was something that was just sitting in my closet. It was something I already had, something you may already have. Just put it on with a different... I would love to see what you guys come up with. So feel free to post on my Facebook page, which is Google Atkins, G-O-O-G-O-O-A-T-K-I-N-S, and let me see what you came up with out of your very own closet. I don't want you guys to spend a dime on clothes this Valentine's Day. I want you to be creative and play around with things in your closet and just try on things together that you would not normally try on together. Actually, I would never even normally wear this dress, but I lost like a few pounds, so I'm kind of feeling myself a little bit, so that's why I put it on. Anyway, you can also reach me on my Twitter page, which is the Google, T-H-E-E-G-O-O-G-O-O. I would love for you to post pictures and tell me what you came up with. But most of all, I want you to have a wonderful, happy, and blessed, and fun Valentine's.